Good morning everybody. Kit from DE Shave Talk with Kit. It's a Monday morning. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. And this is a video that's been a it's been a long time coming. Uh, the reason that it developed is I bought uh, two Yaki two band badger brushes. I uh, did two reviews on them and on the uh, and on my channel and on the Yaki Facebook uh, page I was getting a lot of questions on how do the two band badgers compare with the Yaki Aqua High Mountain Silver Tip Badger Brush this baby right here so, uh, first of all, the obvious that I would like to point out is uh, this is a really very beautiful brush. It's uh, certainly a work of art. I, I would say it's, it's Yaki's flagship brush. It's certainly the most expensive brush they sell. Uh, the Yaki Silver Tip Badger comes from a different type of badger that is primarily found in the high mountains of China. Uh, not, a, not nearly a numerous uh, type of badger as a two-band, probably a little harder to acquire, and the not is only taken from the muzzle as I was reading from the muzzle and the neck area um, in order to accomplish the two the the silver tip uh, versus the two band badger. Uh, I'm going to have a couple of brushes. Um, the review is on this one on on the silver tip high mountain aqua yaki 24 millimeter brush however I'll I will bring in a two band um, badger yaki and I will also bring in my favorite uh, 28 millimeter synthetic with a tuxedo knot because uh, if you're like me you you not only have questions of how a silver tip badger brush compares with a two band, uh, but how does it really, how do the um, badger brushes compare overall to the synthetics? Those are some of the questions that I've personally had and I'm sure many of you have had those same questions. One thing that I wanna do first, uh, I'm gonna soak these brushes I'm uh, going to soak these brushes in a minute. I'm going to take a little break and soak the badger brushes. But I wanted to show you something uh, dry first. I'm going to swing around here and bring this brush closer. Make sure I'm in the camera here. Okay, right there. Now watch... I'm going to make a point about this later, but watch this. Okay, do you see that? When I go across the brush, it lays over almost all the way down to the very base of the brush. What I'm talking about is Layover, that's the term I'm going to use, layover. Another term that people will use is backbone of the brush. And I'll, as I get into it, I'll explain how that affects how the brush is used, how it feels, and what are its strong points, what maybe are, could be considered by some weak points. So, uh, this is this one. I want to bring up uh, a dry, also dry, 
my two band I have reviewed this brush wonderful brush uh, 24 millimeter uh, two band Yaki brush badger so uh, when I go across this look at that uh, I'm pressing just as hard as I was on the silver tip but the the layover on the badgers there is layover up here but the layover doesn't continue down the to the base of the brush handle it basically just lays over uh, you know about I'm gonna say about a about a quarter of the brush when you do the same pressure in a layover test and as a comparison um, this is a this is my as I said in another video this is my favorite Yaki 28 millimeter tuxedo now I tried the same thing with different size tuxedo knots pretty much got the same results so when you go like this okay the layover on a on a tuxedo knot is the thing about a tuxedo knot very soft on the very tips and they lay over very easily but the layover down below I assume that these fibers are engineered to be thicker and stronger on a synthetic brush down below the top of the head and it lays over much like a two band badger and less like a silver tip however um, I did some previous testing and I would say the way that it stacks up, you have your silver tip high mountain brush that has the most layover all the way down the brush. And then you have this one, which in use feels like it has the second most layover. And then you would then you would get into your two band which feels firmer than the other two completely um so um when i get into the lathering portion i'll try to demonstrate what i what difference i think that makes uh both positive and negative in your in your experience of a Yaki Aqua High Mountain uh, 24 millimeter silver tip badger. As I say, I'm not reviewing this brush or the other two band. I'm only using these to draw some comparisons. So I'll go ahead and I'll soak the badger brushes and when I'm ready to uh, do some uh, lathering comparisons uh, I will come back and finish up uh, the video okay we're back with the review for the Yaki Aqua High Mountain 24 millimeter silver tip flagship brush from Yaki uh, both of my badger brushes have been thoroughly soaked for 10-15 minutes uh, they're sitting in a bowl of water down below here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, the Yaki Aqua Silver Tip High Mountain Badger Brush and I'm going to show you um, in a very um, commonly seen soap in my videos. I'm going to uh, take my best uh, soap uh, my fine American blend and 
I'm going to lather with the Yaki High Mountain. So I'm taking the brush right now and I'm shaking some of the water out of it. I'm going to come around here so that I can see that this is getting in the camera here. Hopefully. Yeah, right here. And here's here's the brush that's been shaken out. It's got about about oh uh, about half the water in it. And here we go. So as you can see, uh, with this brush. Uh, there is uh, absolutely no issue um, at all with working up uh, a very good lather in very short order. Cut. So that would be the first point. Can it work up a decent lather in a, in a hurry? Answer, yes. Answer yes. Here we go. Loads up very quickly. Now, I do want to show you something here though. This brush, because of the layover, uh, doesn't have what I call spring back into position. Uh, when you uh, I'm hoping that you can catch this. When it's loaded with soap, uh, it's very easy to for the brush to get formed into whatever shape that, that you want to form it into. Now I'm going to come around here and I'm going to take that that brush and I'm I'm going to throw some lather on my face here, right here. Uh, I'm not shaving today at all. I'm, I'm just going to lather, show you how it lathers. Okay. Now, can you see this immediately? Can you see the immediately how it lays over like a very soft paintbrush? And when I when I go like this, uh, it's uh, it's very comfortable. But it's also like my two bands. I feel a little bit of a, it's not objectionable, but it's a little bit of a pin prick on the ends, which surprised me because um, I would say that's absolutely equal, equal to my two band Badger Yakis, the little pin prick feel. Again, not a, not a problem but something that when you're using a synthetic brush, you don't have any, any of that uh, feel on your, on your face or your head. Uh, again, not a problem, it's a difference. So, um, so the way, but what I do wanna point out right now is because of the way that that brush take when it's loaded with soap, with the layover that it has, it definitely will take on the shape, any shape you want it to. Um, so the advantage of that is uh, you get less backbone exfoliation with a silver tip, but you get a better paintbrush. Okay, here's, here's how that plays out. You lay it over like this, okay, and you see the paint. So what 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 this is? Maybe not quite as good as an exfoliation brush, uh, if that's what you're after as a two band, but a better painter because of it works exactly like an expensive paintbrush uh, to paint the lather on your face. Okay, um, 
feel as nice. Uh, it is soft except for the prickles on the on the end. Um, it's an enjoyable brush to use. I like it very much. Now, um, I'm gonna. Uh, I, going to wipe that soap off my face. Okay, now I'm going to set the high mountain aside for a minute and I'm going to take the two band. Uh, again, this is not a review on the two band. I've reviewed it already, but uh, we, we lathered up with the Yaki High Mountain Silver Tip. It would only be fair to show you that, uh, to be truthful, uh, this is certainly as good. The extra backbone may give you a slight edge on on the 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 speed of lathering up, but not notice uh, not a, not any ser seriously noticeable difference. Uh, when you now, I'm going to try to in the same spot. I'm going to try to put a little lather on. Okay, and if I don't know if you can see this, but it's it's definitely not splained. I mean, you get some splay, but it's definitely, and when you, when you press it like this, it comes quite a bit more back into its original round shape. And when you paint this, still you can, you can still get a good paint, but I'm going to bring this back again. There's, there's what it looks like with the two band with the, with the silver tip high mountain here we go okay so I, I I hope you can see this in the camera what I'm trying to say is you see that there's it's a little thinner it's a little thinner layer because what, what you have with the tube band is a heck of a lot more backbone. I'll let a lot less layover as a painter. However, if you're somebody that would rather have a, a more exfoliation, more uh, a stronger feel of the brush on your face, when you do like this, you're going to probably go for a two band. If you're going to like a little softer with layover so that you can form more of a painter brush, you're going to choose the Yaki uh, Silver Tip High Mountain Brush as your, as your preferred brush. Uh, I can't make those judgments for people. What I'm trying to do in this video is show you that, yes, there's a difference between a two band uh, Yaki and, the, and a silver tip high mountain badger. And the difference is how much layover you get, Which gives you less spring back into the original round on the on the brush. However, that can be a, a very big advantage on the paint process of lathering your face. Okay, my final comparison is um, I have. You know, some people are going to say, okay, uh, here's my question. Do I buy any badger uh, as my brush of choice, or do I buy a Yaki Synthetic? 
Well, I'm going to just throw in a little bit of an opinion. Uh, when I buy Yaki synthetics, yeah, I'm going to choose, personally, I'm going to choose a Yaki tuxedo knot. And the reason that I choose, I choose tuxedo knots is because I like... Uh, in, a, in a synthetic, I like the very soft tips, yet I like the backbone um, of the tuxedo knot. For example, I have a Timberwolf synthetic, uh, which lays over... This is a good comparison. The Timberwolf synthetic lays over about like the Yaki High Mountain silver tip badger brush. It has about that layover. The, um, my favorite synthetic Yaki has less backbone than a two band, but not much less. It's more along that line as far as layover. The tips, the tips on a synthetic Yaki tuxedo knot have no no prickly feeling whatsoever. None. So I'm going to lather this up uh, like I like I did uh, with the um, badger brushes. About the same amount of time. And to be perfectly honest with you, uh, my opinion is about the same results as far as whipping up the lather. And I'm sure some people are going to want to know, uh, can I whip up an equal lather with a silver tip, with a two bed, with a, with a yaki tuxedo? My answer to that question is yes. My answer to which brush you want to buy? I'm leaving that up to you. Uh, I'm trying to show you uh, as, as fairly as I can what you get with each. Now, if I'm going to lather with my favorite synthetic Yaki 28 millimeter tuxedo, here's what, well, here's what I'm going to get. Right? And if I don't know if you if you're looking at this, I'm gonna say I'm getting about the same paint that I got with my two band badger. So if I'm being totally observant here, I I. I uh, I can get a really good paint on this, but I have to kind of lay it sideways and like so. I can achieve that, but to be honest with you, on on the paint issue, the the yaki that I'm reviewing, the uh, 24 millimeter Aqua High Mountain Yaki Silver Tip Flagship Brush is the best painter of the bunch. Because as you can see here, when I do like this with my synthetic because of the backbone, it gives me that kind of um, thin layer, a uh, thinner layer of soap than I got when I'm going to go back to it once more. After all, I have reviewed my synthetic brush that I love. I have reviewed my two band that I love. This bit, this uh, review is a highlight of the Yaki flagship Aqua Silver Tip 24 millimeter brush. One more time. You following this people? This is because of the layover the absolute best paint brush
painting brush of the leather that Yaki sells. You make the judgments. Uh, it's not going to give you the, the uh, some people like the scrub and the backbone feel. Some people rather had the, the layover paint feel. Uh, there's no way I can make those judgments for you, nor do I want to. So this video was some sort of attempt to give you some sort of expectation. If, if it's, see here, this is more, this gives you a, when you go like this with it, gives you more of a look of this one. But this one, when you do this, gives you a thicker layer of paint. So, uh, in conclusion, my opinion is simply this. A lot more layover. The uh, benefit of the layover is at that point in your lather, uh, lathering up, incredible painting capacity. Uh, whether or not you prefer the feel of the two-band badger when you're scrubbing your face or, or a synthetic tuxedo knot, that's going to be up to you. It is going to, the, the synthetic tuxedo and, and the two-band yaki going to definitely give you more of a backbone scrubbing feel. But, again, when I go like that, it actually takes a little bit of layer off. If I do it the same way, then that one. So I hope I've made that clear. That's what the difference is. The judgment is, you, is yours. Do you, do you want a uh, high mountain silver tip, flagship uh, badger brush from Yaki? Do you want a tuxedo? Uh, uh, synthetic, not from Yaki, or do you want something that's kind of in the middle of the two? It uh, it gives you uh, in the two bed. You can get some good paint. You can get some good scrub. Um, the call is yours. This has been Kit. From DE Shave Talk with Kit. I, I hope that I've cleared the water a little bit on synthetics versus badgers versus type of badger in the Yaki line. Hope that helps some of you guys make your decisions on what you think is the right brush for you. And I hope you'll subscribe to my channel because, you know, it, it encourages me. And if you like and subscribe and comment, uh, makes me want to do more videos and more reviews to help you guys out. So thanks a lot for watching. Thanks so much for all of my subscribers. It really means a lot to me. And uh, this has been Kit, and I'll, I'll see you next time.